Hello friends and welcome back to Awesome Amazing Life. Thank you for all your valuable feedback and comments on my last video. In my last video, I also got a lot of questions and in this video, I would like to address a few. One of the most asked question is, who should create goals? Is it important for students or professionals or do entrepreneurs and business owners have more importance towards it? Well, I would like to ask who doesn't need to create goals? Consciously or subconsciously, we are setting goals all the time. Whether it is about passing a certain examination, getting admission in a specific college, getting a particular job, buying a certain house, going on a vacation, buying a particular car, even a mobile phone. All these are goals. When we work towards achieving a certain thing or a certain task, that is a goal. Big or small, it doesn't matter. It is such a natural thing. You know, it's just like breathing that many a times we end up doing it without even realizing it. However, if we train ourselves to consciously be in control of setting up and prioritizing and also putting together a game plan for our goals, we would be able to achieve much more in life. It is an exercise that everybody needs to do, irrespective of your age, gender and the kind of work you do. There, are, there was a lot of confusion about uh, an anxiety as to how do you go about creating goals or what does it need to set goals for yourself. Well, the best way is to start small. Have you heard about a term called bucket list? That is your starting point. Sit with yourself and try to identify what is it that you want in your life a particular project that you might to want to undertake or a task that you want to do. What are the things that you want to have? Maybe in your personal life, your KRAs in your workplace. It could be anything. Draw a complete picture in your mind as if it is laid out in front of you. And if you can visualize it, remember, you can also achieve it. It doesn't matter how big or small it is. Another question that somebody asked me was, even when you have goals or you have things in the bucket list, then why don't we put in efforts towards achieving them? Well, drawing up a plan for anything you desire is more like having a fancy flight of something that we love and want to do. However, making it happen takes a lot of effort and you will face challenges, you will also face hurdles you will have hardships at different juncture. And if you are do not have any strong reason, then you are most likely to either stop working on it or you will never put in the right effort. Your willingness to put in the effort, determination to go past the challenges and the perseverance to go an extra mile to achieve what you really want to do or achieve in life, it's directly proportionate to how important it is to you. And if you do not achieve, what is it that you would lose? We don't work on our goals or put in efforts is because either it is not important to us or it is not urgent enough. So as I mentioned earlier, goals are the stepping stones to success. Irrespective of who you are and what you do, Defining and planning your goals can help you achieve much more. Breaking down your goals into smaller logical tasks. Each time you complete a task, you achieve something, you will have a sense of achievement. You will also get satisfaction of hitting a milestone. Goals need to be big in your heart. You need to be passionate about it. Your passion will drive also give you the right attitude to take them to success. So remember guys, clarity of goals will bring success for sure. If you have any more such questions, please post them in the comments corner and we will definitely respond to you. If you like this video, click on the like button. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, please do subscribe and 
press the bell button to get notifications. Stay tuned for many more such videos. Until next time.